Hey there students, in today's video we're going to be talking about how to calculate the current ratio in accounting. Talking about what is the current ratio, how to calculate it, the formula, and how to evaluate it for a company's financial health. Then we'll go through an example problem and tie it all together. Let's get into it. So first off, what is the current ratio? Well, the current ratio is a liquidity ratio. It helps answer the question, how well can current assets pay off current liabilities? If you think about it, a company wants to know, all right, we're generating assets, but we also have short-term obligations or short-term liabilities. For every dollar of assets we generate, are we able to pay off our current liabilities? Because if liabilities exceeds your assets, that's a problem. You have too much short-term debt. So the goal here really is to have the ratio be over one, which means that you can actually, for every dollar of assets generated, you can take care of those short-term obligations in a company. And so to calculate it, it's fairly simple. You just take your current assets, divide it by your current liabilities. An evaluation, like I was just saying, a ratio of greater than one is positive. It's a good thing because it shows that for every dollar of asset, the company can pay off its short-term obligations. It's a healthy ratio, shows that management of assets is very efficient and short-term obligations are not too excessive for those assets to pay it off. So you want that to be over one. Now that's kind of what a current ratio really is. Let's jump into a problem here. I can show you a little more about how it works. So Thunder Inc. Uh, purchased, actually they just had reports for fiscal year 2022 and they have accounts payable of 1500 wage wages payable 1300 and short-term notes payable 8500 so those are their short-term liabilities and they have cash accounts receivable supplies inventory and prepaid expenses are add up to about 15,300 so what we need to do here is figure out what are our current assets and what are our current liabilities so let's go ahead and just add up some stuff here so what we're going to do I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do first I'm going to do current assets so I'll just put this in and I'll say equals, we're going to add up these numbers. So sum, we're going to add up, actually we don't need to do that, we already have the number. So we'll do 15,300. Instead, we'll do current liabilities since those are harder to add up here. So our current liabilities will be equals sum, and we're going to add up each of these numbers. So 1,500. 1300 and 8500. So that's going to be our current liabilities. We get 11,300. I'll make this bigger as well so you can see it there. So 11,300. Now, our current assets actually are given to us. So we have 15,300. So 15,300 will be our current assets. I'll move this over as well. There we are. So to get our current ratio, we're just going to divide the numbers. Fairly straightforward. So we're going to take uh, equals this number divided by our liabilities. And move this over. And there you go. We get a dollar, but I'm going to go ahead and actually move this out a little bit. And that's actually not going to be a dollar. It's just going to be, we'll just call it a number. So 1.35. So what's happening here is this, for every uh, dollar and 0.35 of assets, we can pay off basically a dollar in our, liabil our current liabilities. So it exceeds one, which is really good, meaning we have a dollar 35 cents, if you will, for every dollar of current liabilities. This is healthy. What this means is that the company is managing their current assets well, and they don't have too many current liabilities that will cause issues. So they can pay off their short-term obligations. They have that liquidity ready to pay off those short-term obligations when they need to. Now the concern will be is if it's under one, because meaning they have too many current liabilities and they don't have enough assets generated to actually pay those off. And that can lead to issues down the line with higher risk lending, creditors coming after them, uh, and eventually becoming insolvent as a company. And that's no good, right? So 
This is just for an example company, but we went through today, very simple. First off, what is a current ratio, how to calculate it, and then how to evaluate it. And went in through an actual example using some real numbers and showed you how to calculate it. And then we went ahead and evaluated it here uh, on the effectiveness of this ratio. So if you like this video, uh, please uh, like it. It really helps the algorithm. And definitely subscribe so you don't miss another video. I deliver videos about three times a week now to make sure you always can be understanding accounting, practicing for your exams, or if you have a small business as well, uh, using this type of accounting knowledge to help with your business. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.